As the device on the right generates sound, that sound travels over to here, where it's picked up by the microphone. So they are acoustically connected. And a quick test of the test button will reveal that function. The L2, shown on the left here, will also pick up the all-important low battery chirp that comes from this device to this device. From the low bat chirp. To help distinguish, let's remove the L2 and listen to just the chirp. And now that we've replaced the L2, you'll notice the sound of it being picked up over my voice. <laughs> With two simple screws, it mounts anywhere in the home. In the front is where the microphone is located. To open, push the tab down, like so, revealing the battery compartment here. The device uses six AA batteries and lasts approximately one year on those AA batteries. To reload, snap the lid in place, lock it down. Here you see where the microphone section is again and the circuit board is behind there. And it will mount anywhere in the home easily. It responds to the family alert. To a standard first alert smoke alarm. And even to the hardwired or battery powered, it responds. We see the uh, distance is pretty good for picking up low bat. For you Rush fans, we're going to play some uh, loud rock music to test its sensitivity. Rush fan. 